you know, quick clicky, quickly doing a cross call Wallace on these same data. I'll get the three uh, three groups: continue, median, cross call Wallace, uh, and I've got my data split. Unfortunately, click OK and analyze. Do that again. So 0 0.013 was a significance value, but in this case, when you do the Krusko Wallace, the significance is only 0 0.039. That means that in some cases, you'll find a median test finding a statistically significant effect, but the Krusko Wallace not finding that significant effect. And also, let's just look at a compare means in the one way I know of it to see what the significance level is, just looking at a plain ordinary ANOVA. We get a significance level of 0 .00, 0 0.007, so it's actually most powerful when doing the ANOVA, but because I'm violating assumptions of normality uh, and possibly homogeneity of variance, I can't do the ANOVA. And the Krusko Wallace is a little more robust uh, to those assumption violations, uh, but it might not be enough, and so the median test is actually the one that's the most robust because it does not assume homogeneity of variance across the samples, whereas the Krusko Wallace does. The Krusko Wallace only assumes that the data are not normally distributed, but they have to be non normally distributed the same way across all the groups. The median test does not assume that, at least not to the same degree. Uh, anyway, this video ended up a bit longer than I thought it was going to end up, but I hope you found it useful, and thanks for watching howtostats.com.